The Gears 5 tech test is finally here, and in today's video I'm going to be giving my honest opinions as to how I think Gears 5 is shaping up so far. The tech test is available for those who have pre-ordered the game, or those such as myself with Game Pass or Game Pass Ultimate. Now the tech test, which is pretty much just a beta, only allows you to access the versus mode, and as such, obviously you won't be able to access campaign, horde, or the new escape mode. We're going to be discussing some of the good and the bad sides of this tech test. Let's get right into it. Now when you first boot up the game, you're going to be met with most likely a queue. Uh, the servers are stated to be full, and when I first booted it up at 1pm EST when it opened up for me, I had to wait about 20 minutes until I could even get into the game and adjust the brightness. Uh, but if you come in now, you might be waiting with like 2 or 4 hours. That queue time will probably decrease as the day goes along. Uh, maybe even tomorrow it'll be a lot better, but this tech test is only available for a few days. So be warned, if you do download this, you might have to wait a little bit until you play. You cannot exit the game while waiting in the queue, because if you close out the game, you will be removed from the queue and will have to re-queue in order to play. Now once you actually get into the game, you are connected to the servers, you gotta adjust your brightness, and then you are forced to go into a tutorial. I'm pretty sure you cannot skip this, and for someone like myself who has played Gears of War since the very beginning, since the first installment, going through a tutorial is a little needless. I really was not a fan of doing it. I've just, I've played the game so much, I know the mechanics, I know how the game works, I really don't need to be told how to shoot people and how the Lancer works. Uh, I, I know the mechanics. Uh, for someone like myself who has played every other Gears game or even just Gears 4, you should know the controls and the mechanics and the tutorial, uh, it's called Boot Camp, is just going to seem boring and it's a waste of like 15-20 to 20 minutes of your time. If someone's new and coming into the series, then yes, I totally understand the Boot Camp. Uh, but unless I missed it, there isn't a way to exit out of it, so that would be nice if you if you aren't forced to do it, uh, because people who know how to play the game really don't feel like sitting through a 15-minute tutorial. But the gameplay itself is what you would expect of Gears of War. Characters are pretty much bullet sponges. It does not take three shots of a Lancer to down or kill somebody. It's going to take a little bit, but again, that's just what Gears of War is. You got big beefy characters, they take a lot of bullets to kill. Um, and I don't really don't have a problem with that. Again, it's it's been that way since the very beginning. Uh, if you think you're going to down someone super quick with a Lancer or the Snub Pistol or whatever have you, you're just not going to have a good time. You got to come into Gears of War knowing that characters take a little bit to die. The weapons themselves and the weapon balancing is fine as far as I can tell. I really don't have any major gripes. Uh, the new SMG that goes into your down D-pad slot, it has a lot of kickback, but I'm sure it's made to be that way on purpose, so you just can't spam it. It's meant for like a close quarter thing. It's not a long range weapon. Uh, guns like the Nasher, which are a staple of the franchise just as much as the Lancer, are back as always, and the, the Nasher can one-tap people. If you get close enough and you get a nice headshot, you will kill somebody in one shot. The Lancer, obviously, you're not going to uh, kill someone with the first few bullets of your clip. You got the Chainsaw Bayonet, which with people who are competent online, they're not really going to be able to pull off the chainsaw on you uh, because you got to rev it up. You got to walk near the person, start the animation, this and that. Most people are going to do something to negate your uh, advances on them. As everyone knows... If you take damage while revving up the chainsaw, it automatically lowers it. So, realistically, it's a little bit more difficult to pull off a Lancer chainsaw kill. Uh, but, again, people who've played the game know that it really hasn't always been that easy, uh, especially in this game. Now, I don't necessarily have a major problem with the online mode. You either have the ranked mode or you have the uh, arcade mode in. I'm not really a great Gears of War online player, so I'm pretty much sticking to arcade. I don't know exactly how the ranked mode is working, but me, who is a very average player, if not below average, I just, I don't want to hammer down my team and, and put them at a disadvantage because I'm trying to play ranked. Even though this is only really a beta, uh, the stats won't carry over this and that, but I just feel like if people want to play competitive, let them do that. Uh, me, who sucks at the game, I'm not going to try that out right now. 
Now, like I said, I really don't have major problems with the online itself. The controls are what you would expect. They seem pretty normal. I do have some troubles going in and out of cover, but that just might me being, like, awful at the game. I really don't know. Some people are able to move through cover extremely well. I, myself, sometimes just misclick this and that. Nothing too major. Like I said, the weapon balancing seems to be pretty fair. Uh, some guns are just extremely hard to use at a range. If you're trying to kill someone with a lancer across the map, you best not go automatic. Fire in short controlled bursts. That's kind of the way it has worked for quite a while. So you just need to know what weapons do what. And I think, like I said, it's it's fairly balanced. I don't have any major gripes with the gameplay. Uh, there's really not too much that they have changed or could change in the multiplayer gameplay aspect uh, because it's kind of just what Gears of War has been since the beginning. They just add new weapons, a couple new mechanics, but nothing to drastically shake it up. So if you know what Gears of War was before Gears 5, then you know what Gears 5 multiplayer aspect is going to be at least. The major problem I do have with this tech test so far is there is a lot of issues in terms of the menu and the UI. Like I said, I don't necessarily have a problem with the gameplay itself. It's the fact that when you boot up the game and you gotta adjust the brightness, it really wasn't fluid at all. I would click right on the D-pad or the analog stick to adjust the brightness higher and it would take a second to catch up. It takes a minute to load some things. The post-match uh, stat page won't even load for me. It'll just give me an error. This and that. It's just some small bugs with the in-game menus and this and that. S stuff just won't load. And I, uh, obviously that should be fixed by the time the full game releases. But right now, it, it's super hard to use the menus because a lot of the things won't load. You've got your typical customization. You know, you got your weapon camos. Uh, You've got different things you can edit for your characters. Obviously, in this tech test, you're not going to have too many options. I think it's all pretty bare bones. You're not really going to unlock anything in this tech test for the tech test. But like I said, the Gears 5 tech test so far is a pretty fun experience. If you're someone who likes to play multiplayer in Gears, you might have a pretty good time if you're decent at the game. Even though the servers are stated to be full, you play with and against a lot of bots, uh, which I found really weird because it says servers are full, so why am I having trouble finding a game? And when I do get into a game, there's only like three real people, the rest are bots. But regardless, I think overall my opinion on Gears 5 multiplayer is fairly positive. I really wasn't expecting anything to blow me away, and it was just on par with what I thought Gears 5 multiplayer was going to be. The menu stuff and all the bugs that are happening with the UI and it being slow to load and this and that uh, should be fixed by launch is my hope. If it's not, then God save us all. Uh, but base base gameplay of Gears 5 is just what I would expect. Uh, if you're coming into this game expecting something to shake the world and like be a huge innovation in Gears of War, you're not going to get that. It's, it's Gears of War. It's what you would think you're going to get with Gears Online. And that's it. That's my honest opinion of the Gears 5 tech test. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm going to be super excited to play Gears 5 when it launches. I really do just pretty much buy Gears for Horde and the campaign. Versus is just an afterthought for me because I'm not great. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Cheerio, mates.